So uh, we've opened up the Zoom doors and they are flying in and I can see the live icon from Facebook. Jake McKenzie from Realtor is joining us again. Today is part three of three. We have had a great time over the last six weeks talking about digital prospecting. Jake, good to see you again. Thanks, Tom. Good to be here for uh, part three of three, the, the digital proposal today. We've got plenty to go into, so looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. So I was doing a presentation this morning to the Ray White Group in New South Wales and um, um, a real estate agent there. Um, we were, they've got today, they've got a big thing called State of the Nation where they've got a big prospecting blitz where they're ringing the whole com company. And um, and one of the agents uh, actually said to me at that conference, he said, Tom, there is no better thing. And he didn't even know that I've got this. Oh, he might know I've got a relationship with that, with, uh, with real tear, but he actually said, there is nothing better than when you've made an appointment that you send them this digital proposal and he goes, you know, real tear do them. And he goes, you get it there. They watch a video of you in the proposal and he goes, and when the door opens up, they say, hi, how are you going, Cameron? Like he goes, it's like they already know you. He goes, the tone of my listing presentations have changed. And um, he said, the one I signed one up the other day, he said, they said to him, we've picked you because you seem to be up with it with all the tech. And he goes, the only tech I've really, they could have seen with me is the uh, text message I sent them of the uh, digital introduction. I think some, some clients really sort of, I mean, it's like going to a listing presentation and scoring a try in the first minute. You know what I mean? You, 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 you sort of, yeah, you must get that feedback from clients, Jake. We do. And, and it's, I'm glad you said that, Tom. This last session, we went through the digital introduction, which is exactly, exactly what that is. It's warming up your clients. They feel like they know you when you, when you walk through the door. And, and we've had agents that have asked during the presentation, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Vandal, has anybody sent you anything before coming out? And more often than not, it's no. So just by sending that link, not only does it, does it allow you, know, you to introduce yourself digitally so that you appear as the, the person they know when you do walk through the door, but you're setting yourself apart from the competition from, from day one, which is so important in the market at the moment. All righty, team. By the way, Jake and I joined Freddie, a guy who won the competition for um, uh, our last presentation that we did. Uh, sorry, it was our first one. Jake, if you're comfortable enough to do another 30-minute coaching session um, as a giveaway, um, we're going to give it away. Um, to do it, you've got to actually uh, uh, share it on social media. Um, maybe take a photo of us right now uh, doing this. Uh, tag, uh, Jake, are you on Instagram as well? Yeah, I am, the, the Jake McKenzie. Okay. And Tom Panos, tag us there. Uh, we'll pick a winner by Friday and they're going to win a 30-minute coaching session on um, we're going to unpack what you're doing from a digital perspective and see if there's any... Um, uh, you were outstanding, by the way, when you were sitting with Freddie. You, uh, because of what I liked about it, it wasn't a, you know, it wasn't this pitch join real tear. You were actually going off and saying, "Check this, check this. Are you doing this? Are you doing this?" So, team, press that share button. We will announce the winner by Friday afternoon. But Jake, last time we did the digital introduction, our first meeting um, was actual the uh, digital price update. Um, just quickly, in summary. For those that were away on holidays and are back now, what was the digital uh, update? So Tom, what is that? It's a prospecting sequence, and that's what this series of webinar has been about. So if you've missed the last two sessions, they're still available. We'll, we'll share those links today. But really, the digital price update um, is the very first touch point to your database to get in the door. And it's sending something that's consistent and relevant um, to your database. Again, we're not in their face every day, but we're sending them something that's relevant, which is some recent sales in the area. Uh, we're sending it every month or two months, and we've got some great automation that can do that for you. Um, so that when the client is ready to say, hey, Tom, I want an appraisal, you'll know. You'll know when they're opening it, and that sits across all of our tech, which we'll show you today. And they can even click a button to say, I want to book an appraisal. So that's the first part um, of the prospecting sequence. 
We then went into our digital introduction, which means we've got that appointment. We're now setting our agenda, confirming our appointment time, and really laying the foundation of who we are as an agent in readiness for the appraisal, uh, which is what we're going to look through today, that appraisal and the digital proposal. So today is part three of the prospecting sequence. Putting these three parts together really ensures that you're nurturing your database and, and actually making the best use of that lead because when we get invited in the door we don't we don't want to stuff this up we want to make sure that we actually can get across everything that we want to in a professional manner something that looks great and something that makes us stand out from all of our competitors okay so can i ask dis define what a digital proposal is which is what we're talking about today what is it so digital proposal is a digital version of your appraisal, really. And I think that's where um, some people have gotten lost in the past as well. They've put all of this stuff into the digital proposal, which doesn't matter. So we're talking about pricing, method of sale. We're talking about some marketing examples, campaign timelines. It's everything that you would normally discuss during that market appraisal in a really nice, detailed digital version um, that you can either present with at the meeting uh, and or send us a nice summary after if you don't manage to land the business on the spot. Um, but we're not just adding another bit of tech and something else to do. This is actually a tool to help you win listings. Uh, it's not just sending a fancy email once you're done and hoping that they read it and they sign up, um, but it's actually a tool to help you stay on track, present in a professional way and sign up that business as, as quick as we can. Okay, Susan, if you don't mind, in the chat box, um, and on social media, if you could put that link in there, because I've got good news for you. We're giving you, there's a, there's a prize for every child. And today we're giving you a link that's going to give you free access to resources such as scripts, dialogues, templates that you can use to get more listings and make more sales. So let me have a look there. Susan has put that in the chat box there. Real estate product, real estate proposals. Susan, if I can also get you to put the link, which is realtair slash resources slash Tom Panos slash prospecting rocket fuel. Um, it's in the email that, um, that uh, Bianca has sent me. That's the one that's got all the resources. This is the one that's got the proposal. Um, in a moment, Jake, you're going to be kind enough to actually do in real time when you're doing a proposal i get a lot of agents say to me tom you don't realize going to all the he goes sometimes they say to me jay i don't want to go to that many cmas it's a good problem to have because there's just so much work with getting proposals done but it doesn't have to take long we're going to see one we're going to see one can i ask you jay when i was in real estate which is way before realtor um we used to give them a hand copy, right? What are the advantages of a digital copy versus the traditional copy? Good question, Tom. And there's still plenty of agents doing the paper copy out there. So it's not, not that long ago. The main benefit of a digital version, um, number one, you're going to stand out from your competitors that are still on paper, but you're going to know every time that client opens it or essentially when they pick up that old proposal off the table or that CMA, every time they touch it and look at it, you're going to get a notification and the power in that to know when your clients are in real estate mode, thinking about you, looking at, at that, that digital document that you've sent them allows you just to communicate with them when the, when the time is right. Now, the amount of times you ring people and you've just got them at the wrong time, but they really want to talk to you about selling their home. This is going to allow you to, you know, maybe just send a nice follow-up message at 8 p.m. when you see that they're opening it, sitting on the lounge, having a discussion with their partner, um, or even if it's two or three months down the track and they didn't list, but they're re-engaging with it, you know, you get those notifications. So it's really around the timing. So I've got to tell you, there's a real estate agent that's gone overseas, like many agents have gone over the last few weeks. He got notified, Jake. He um, then sent them a message. They said, we want to get started before spring because we've heard that there might be a mortgage cliff. He was in Greece. He then sent them an agency agreement. He said to me, oh, it's all part of real tear. It all you know, works as one. Signed up the listing. So picture this guy. I don't know where he was in Greece, right? Let's assume he's in Mykonos. He's got his phone. He gets alerted. He sees it, sends a message off. Next thing you know is sends out 
um, uh, an agency agreement that is signed on glass and he's got a listing. He said, mate, I just signed up my listing and I'm sitting here in Greece. You must have stories like that, eh? That must happen. There's, there's so many stories and, and something that we'll show you today, the benefit of, of doing the proposal and doing the price update and the digital intro through Realtor is all that information you've already entered will pre-populate your agency agreement. So if it already exists in there or it exists in your CRM, um, you know, a lot of that agency agreement is filled out, the name, the details, the comparable sales. So you're not starting from scratch. So he would have been able to click a few buttons, send that straight across, um, get notified when it's opened, signed, and, and sitting back there ready for him to go. So, Jay, what's in a digital proposal? Is it, or is that best done me watching you put one together and then we look at it, or do you want to cover that now? Yeah, look, I, I think we'll, we'll build one um, and then we'll talk a little bit about, I guess, how they're used uh, because it's not just the CMA. You know, a lot of agents, they're, they're printing out the comparable properties. They're grabbing the book off the shelf with the office information. This is all of that together. So let's let's jump in and build one if you like, Tom. Perfect. Brilliant. Um, so I'll share my screen. Just to, to recap where we are, we're inside Realtor, we're inside of our campaign. So we've got our campaign, we're in our prospecting or, or pitch tab, um, and we've got all of our templates. We've been through our, our price update. We know that that appraisal has been booked. We've sent them the digital intro, they've viewed that, we're good to go, and we've now got our, our digital proposal. So we just simply hit create and it will take us into our familiar bouncing ball screen. So this is actually how you generate it. With the price update, there was around three steps with our proposal because there's more detail in it. There's around 13, but you can have that as complex or as simple as you like. Um, I'll just highlight today some of the areas that agents love and, and some of the areas that they're, they're really choosing to use. Again, you're going to have your recent sales and current listings that, that pull through from your data provider. So we're not having to log into our separate systems. We're going to pull through from our RP data, our prop tracks, our price finders, so that it's all in one screen for you for our sales and our listings. Um, quite often, you'll get invited into that property because you've sold one down the road. So you've actually got the ability to create some nice case studies. If you've just sold the property down the road and you want to tell that client about that campaign, you know, how many people came through, how many contracts you had out, how many registered bidders, um, how the auctioneer went, all of those sorts of things, you can build in case studies to, to use and, and that looks great as well. Our normal things that we talk about as agents, method of sale, auction or private treaty, um, marketing quotes, our agents love this. It's the ability to have our packages just saved in there. Small, medium, large, gold, silver, bronze. We don't need to itemize it for each. We can drag and drop a preset and that will fill out to actually have all of those um, different marketing items in there for us. Tom, I think one of the best features is our calendar. I'm sure you can imagine or, or um, remember Microsoft Word dragging around the boxes of all the different types of events that we did. Um, this one's fantastic. We've got a number of presets. What we can do is go, look, let's start it on the 15th, simply hit fill calendar and it will fill up with all those different uh, actions that we do. Our open homes, our sign boards, um, our, our live on portal. So a really good tool to actually not only show that client, look, if you gave me the go ahead, this is what I would do, but great in trial closing as well. You know, would photos next week work? Let's, let's drag that into the right date. So it's a really good tool. I tell you, everyone knows Josh Tesselin these days because of the amount of sales he makes. Josh Tesselin uses a thing called the calendar close. He uses the calendar that actually shows them why they need to sign up ASAP because he actually fought forward, put, puts the dates like you have there. So is this, this is available on Realtor, is it? This is all here. So essentially, if you've got a client that says, look, you know, we, we, need, we need to sell and we need to sell by the end of August, you could say, look, for us to do that and actually sell by the end of August, let's end the dates on this event. We need to get started now. And this is actually shows that, that full campaign of that, that full um, property campaign that they need to get into now. I've got it. Jay, can I ask you, is, it, is, is there too much background noise or it's fine where, where I am? No, I'm, I'm, it's okay. I can hear you okay. loudly. Yep. Okay, perfect. Keep going, Jake. Look, awards, statistics, anything that you would normally present, uh, we go into you know pricing and, and selling fee. Um, and this can be presented how you present as an agent. You know, We're not here to dictate how you want to do your market appraisals or your presentations. We make the templates fit with you. 
once you finish with it, you hit submit. And just to note, if I don't, don't want to commit to a price, I don't have to fill that section out and it won't actually populate in our, in our, in our uh, template at the end there. So you don't have to fill them all out. You can just fill out the relevant bits. We hit I like submit. that, Jake. I like that because there are some real estate agents that don't want to lock themselves in a price in the in the in the in the competition and i was going to ask you is it the same case with the commission it is same same with the selling fee if you want to just leave it out for now there's a few options you can populate it um, and i'll show you, you can actually turn on and off sections and one of our uh, great agents that uses our platform um, he will actually send this full proposal before he goes out but he will hide the commission the marketing uh, and the price, because we know they're the three things that that vendors really want to know. What are you going to charge me? What's it going to cost? And and how much am I going to get for my property? But he allows them to read through and digest everything else before he actually gets to the appraisal. And then you can quickly turn those sections on and have that presented at the at the appropriate time. So there's so much flexibility with this tech in how you actually want to present it as an agent. Okay. Um, uh, so you got oh, so, so, okay. Is that it? That's it. So I hit submit and it'll actually take it through to beautiful branded uh, proposal uh, that's all ready for you. So it's simply just filling out those steps. Um, and now we're in the, in the proposal. Okay, Jake, keep going, keep going and give us one moment. No problems. I'll take them through. So look, just normally how you'd have everything set up, Tom, um, you would have all of your different sections. We'd have a welcome message. We can have agent profiles, which sit there as well. We can have videos. Uh, which sit in there. And then it comes down more to actually about their property. So when we scroll through, here are our comparable sales of how I'm pricing your property, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor. Here's some current listings on the market. Um, here's a case study. You mentioned that I sold the property down the road. We can actually click in and, and see the campaign summary of, of that exact campaign and, and how we sold it. Uh, similarly, we can have information around marketing, uh, our process of sale. There's a lot of detail in this one, particularly around how that agent sells the property. As we scroll down further, I'll just drop down to show you those, those great elements. Our marketing quotes, quote one, quote two, or our packages that we have, and that great calendar close that we just spoke about. So it's all in here. It looks great. It's very easy for, for that client to read. If you send it via mobile, it adapts for the mobile. And of course, most importantly, we've got that accept button down the bottom. So this is the button that agent in Greece would have would have got. Accept text yeah. message comes through. We want to go ahead. And then all yeah. I need to do is click this create agency agreement button and it'll pull all that information through to our sign platform and start to actually build that so, agency. So, so so what happens then is that takes you to the actual agency agreement or form six, whatever, whatever they call it in each state. Okay. Correct. Okay, and then you send that out and then they sign on glass and that's the agency agreement signed. So this is what this guy's done in Greece. That's right? what he's done. Yeah, he's hit He's hit that. It's taken them straight through into our sign platform, our agency agreement and, and all of our documents sit inside the platform. Um, he's able to then get that signed, get it verified uh, and, and list the listing. So that's a really nice introduction and how it takes you not only just from the proposal which we've done, but it then uses the platform to actually push through uh, into our into our signing territory, find that, get it listed, make sure that it's all done, not only efficiently, but with some compliance guardrails built in as well. Um, and now we're into prepping for, for sale, whether it's an auction or private treaty, it's then a little sneak peek into our sell tab as well. Uh, listen, I love this. Susan, do us a favor, talking about sign-ups, if you haven't joined Realtor yet, and it doesn't matter whether you're a principal or a standalone agent, you can do it. There's no issues. Realtor.com forward slash sign up. I'm going to repeat that again. If at the moment you got inspired, yes, I'm selling, but I've got this belief in life. If it's good for you, you got an obligation to tell them to do it. I'm, Jake, how long is it going to, like, you did that while you were talking through, realistically, let's assume you've had Realtor for about a month. How much should you? How much time should you allocate towards doing uh, uh, a proposal? Tom, it should take less than ten minutes. Really, it, it's designed to to not take that long. Um, probably the hardest thing you're doing is deciding what fee you're going to charge them and what comparable sales you're going to add in there. But everything else is set at a template level. So five to ten minutes to to create this. Um, you can prep it before you go out. A lot of agents are now choosing to actually present live on an iPad or a laptop. 
and they can actually scroll through, sit on the dining room table, scroll through um, and, and have it there. And then once they've finished that appraisal, sending it on the spot, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, you've now got everything that we've just spoken about. It's in your hand, it's on your phone, it pops up. Um, and then when they open that this evening, quick text message, when they open it in a week, if we don't list it, or if they choose to list on the spot, click that button, fill out your agreement and, and you're off and running. Okay, Jay, can I ask you, um, if you're a person that wants to sign up, how long will it take before you get the admin tech stuff out of the way? Like how long does it take to set up these templates and who, and how does it all work? Yeah, look, 72 hours, we can have you set up in. So it's, it's a matter of going to that link, putting in your details, uh, hitting sign up, and then our customer success team reaches out. Uh, we'll help you with those initial templates of the price update, the digital introduction, and the proposal. Um, we'll teach you how to edit and tweak those if you like, but within 72 hours, you can be sending out beautiful professional proposals. Hey, a couple of questions that have come in. Um, Kathy, by the way, Kathy, she's just asked, can we ask questions? You certainly can. If you've got a question, just put it in the chat box, anyone. Uh, What's the difference between Realtor and other digital proposal tools? Great question. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, they all do very similar things. Um, I think we've covered it with our, our example of our agent in Greece, the ability to quickly go from a proposal straight through to an agency agreement and pre-populating a lot of that. It sits inside the larger Realtor platform. So you've not only just got a great proposal tool, um, but you've actually got all the tools that support you to get that proposal and then go further into the listing, which is your agency agreement. So it's not another standalone piece of tech. It's actually a workflow um, and a way that agents are, are doing business. Yeah, and I can tell you to the person that's asked that question offline, I want to let you know I was involved with a digital proposal with another organisation. I've seen most of the digital proposals and I've seen the whole ecosystem. And at the end of the day, Jay, I just see Realtor as Apple. It's in, it's all connected. Like I've got my watch, I've got my phone, I've got my iPad, I've got my computer. And I see Realtor the same. It populates the agency agreement, the information, it's all connected. And that's what I really like about it. But is it better, like some people are saying to me in this question, is it what are the advantages? Oh, we've sort of covered it. The advantages of a paper versus a digital is the fact that you're you're engaged with the client and 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 you know what they're doing and thinking at a specific time. Yep, that's the main advantage. Look, I think a lot of people are, are a bit hesitant to to get away from paper. They want to leave something on the dining room table to be remembered. Um, and look, that that's okay. You can print these if you like, but I'd always say drive them back to that digital one because you want to know when they're looking at it. Some agents are going to just a really simple generic printed version of maybe some office information, but for the specifics of the property, they've got to look at the digital one because you, you want to know when they're opening it. Every time they pick that up, you want to know that, that they're actually engaging with it. And it, it can feel a bit uncomfortable, but Tom, we've had examples of, of vendors in their eighties and nineties They've all got phones these days. They can receive text messages and, and emails. Even in rural and regional markets, we've got agents using this all over Australia. So give it a, give it a go. Okay. So um, to buy it is the best thing to do to go to that Realtor sign-up page? Yep, absolutely. Go to the Realtor sign-up page, put in your details. If you need a little bit more info on it before you're ready, hit book a demo and we can be in touch with you as well. Okay. And I want to recap. So we've done three of the products, but the $189 a month fee doesn't just, it covers the whole rule test system, correct? Correct. It's not just the three, it's not the three that we've done, it covers the whole system. Everything. So the agency agreements, and then once you've listed it, uh, digital auctions, private treaty offers, contracts, deposits, the whole, the whole thing from start to finish. So you don't just get the prospecting, it's literally a system to manage that that whole sale, uh, right from, hey, I would like to come and do an appraisal to sign here, deposit and settlement. Okay, a um, couple of other things, Jake. I was going to say, if your if your office is not using real tear, but you're this you're you're the sort of agent that's sitting there and you've just done the numbers and you thought it's about two grand a year, it's tax deductible. 
for most people, that's about a quarter of one listing, right? That's what, right? It's even less. If they want to do it, but their offices don't have real care, they can still do it. You've got clients, right? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we can sign up. It's not the whole office. It can be individual agents as well. So don't don't feel bad about reaching out. If you want the tech, we're more than happy to help you implement it. And also, I want to confirm New Zealand now uh, is is operating. It is, yeah. New Zealand is operating. Uh, we, we've got our light version in, in New Zealand. So we've got all the prospecting tools um, and a digital signing platform as well. So we're, we're, what we've spoken about in this webinar series is, is all available to New Zealand. Okay, team, if you haven't jumped on yet, realtair.com forward slash sign up. Also get your free stuff. They're all in the chat box. Um, I've got a question here from Grant Whisker. Hey, Grant, good to hear from you. Does it connect to your CR to the CRM agent box? It sure does. It connects to most CRMs, doesn't it? It does, yep. All the majors. Okay. Is there any ETA for texting option in New Zealand, please, Jake? Uh, I'll have Jonathan. to talk, I'll have to talk to the team on that. Uh, it's from Jonathan. Um, I can get an ETA on that. I know there's some restrictions around sending text messages from agents' phone in New Zealand. Um, we do have the email link though, so you can email it or even copy that link into your own phone and send it out for now as well. Okay, that's the answer there, Jonathan. Denise Barrington, if the office principal has real tear and an agent in the office wants to sign up, does the agent still have to pay the setup fee? No, setup okay. fee is just for the office. So if you've already got an existing client in the office, we can we you don't have to pay that setup fee. Okay, Kathy says, what's the minimum amount in CRM is ideal to start with to use real tear? Like, is there a minimum number of data? Yeah, look, good question. I, I think um, there's a, a belief out there that the more data, the better, where really it's about having clean data. If I had 50 clean contacts in a database, that would be enough to actually start servicing your, your contacts. So it's not about the number. Um, the rough figures are around 900 is 900 pieces of data is around 30 to 40 listings per year that come out of that. So it just depends on the volume that you want to do as an agent, but um, look, get started. If you've got 50 to a hundred, even a couple of hundred more than enough to actually start sending it, just make sure it's clean. Okay. So uh, by the way, everyone, if you've missed a couple of the uh, earlier sessions we've had uh, last month with Jake, uh, there are so many benefits to real tear, one of them being the ability to not have to have an assistant or to delay an assistant because tech is not there to substitute you, but it can complement you to the point where you don't need to have an assistant um, till a later time or not at all because if you can master just doing this and it's not hard, I mean, I've seen you do 10 minutes for a proposal it looked to me like there's only a few minutes to do the digital intro, a few minutes to do the, the price update. You master that, you can pretty much get on, save yourself 75 grand salary on a PA, right? Um, your, your miles ahead. I want to recap the resources are there in the chat box. And we, in addition to that, we also have your sign up, realtair.com forward slash sign up. Uh, I want to let you know to all of you, uh, Jake has joined me over a six week where we've been running the digital prospecting series. We will return to Tech Tuesday. And Jake, I'd love to have you back during Tech Tuesday, where we actually sit, we pick up a topic and we dig deep in it. And often we actually also bring one of your clients or one of my clients, and we talk about how they're using um, real tear to actually help and make more listings and sales. As far as I'm concerned, Jake, you know, you're a real estate guy. You're out there auctioning. You're about to have the busiest quarter of your life. I can sense it. Right now, you need to be getting proposals out to clients. The decisions that they're making between today and the end of August are the listings you're going to have in September, October, November. You know how it works, Jay. The conversations and the proposals today are the listings in spring. What's the... Um, what? By the way, what's the world of auctions? A lot of people don't know you're an accomplished auctioneer. You're out there in the field at the cold face. What's it been like in the last two, three weeks, Jake? 
Tom, look, it's um, it's it's tough at the moment. I, I see a lot of what what you're posting as well. Um, there's some big decisions being made at the moment. I, I feel that agents are doing a lot of appraisals um, because people are starting to have to make some tough decisions. A lot of mortgages coming off fixed rates. They're jumping into the you know nearly seven percent range um, here in Australia. So. Um, it's tough. I think it's going to get a lot tougher. And as you said, if, if you're not having conversations now, um, then we need to be listing for spring and get yourself in a position where you can handle volume. Tech like this, we've got agents writing a million bucks um, in fees and they don't have an assistant. They're simply using this system to do it. It's quicker to do it yourself than it is to actually get somebody else to do it. So um, jump in. If you need more information, we're more than happy to show it to you. But um, yeah, to answer your question, it's 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 getting tough. There's there's about to be a, a fair bit of volume, I think. Yeah, I've, 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 I've had a few agents telling me they've been using um, real tear to get. Um, they, and so he, here's what a guy said to me yesterday. He went to a listing that he signed up three months ago. He went over. He hasn't had any luck selling it. And he said to the vendors, you know what? I feel like I've got to pretend like I'm relisting your property for the first time. I feel like I've got to do a brand new presentation, look at new comparable sales, try and launch your property in a new way. And what he did is he actually just got a, I, I don't know whether it was a price update or a digital proposal or what it was, but he said, I just got a new presentation with new comparables. And I went in there and I said, as if we're starting again, he got a 10% price alignment. And you know what it's like, Jake, when you adjust the price, a magical buyer always appears in any marketplace. You've just got to take action. And, and that's the flexibility with the templates as well. We've got a lot of agents that are using them to keep vendors up to date with what's happening in the market. If properties sell, generate an update just around their property and send it to them. These three sold around the corner. These two got listed. Use the tech to make your job easier as an agent. A proposal a day keeps the doctor away and real tear is going to make that easy for you. Jake McKenzie, I want to thank you so much. A reminder, everyone, in the chat box and in the comment section on social media is where we've got the links. Jake and I will select a winner by Friday. We will pick one winner. If you haven't pressed that share button on Facebook, do it now or tag us on Instagram. We're going to pick someone up in social. Jake McKenzie, thank you so much. Thanks, Tom. It's always a pleasure. Absolutely. Signing off, everyone. Bye.